there is not a single sign that uh, some kind of negotiations will start between Russia and Ukraine, Putin and Zelensky. Why Western countries are not putting some pressure on Putin with some stronger sanctions to force him for those negotiations? Yes, we still have problems with sanctions, I think, because they avoid them, like North Korea or uh, Iran or Palestine. They just avoid them. And we had a, a lot of information that Europe now buy the same quantity of gas, but now in LNG than uh, it was uh, be before the war, so when they stopped to uh, import the gas from Russia. So now it's almost the same quantity, so where is the sanction? And we know about the avoided sanctions uh, through the third countries like Georgia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkey and, and other countries. They call it just trade, just trade, but trade that helps Russia to gain power or to stabilize the economy. It's not fair, I think. It's not fair. Sometimes Germans tell me that, uh, okay, we, we are not ready for this because we have some signs of recession, economical recession, and if we will stop everything in one time, we will have bigger recession right now. I answer those Germans, you know, we have people recession, we have life recession right now. You are talking about economical recession, but you are not dying. We now die right now. It's a life recession, non economical recession. I think <coughs> they're not understanding. They or understand it what? on their way. That's it. That's it. We have a different uh, mentality. We have uh, a different imagina imagination about, uh, about the world. Struggle. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And you know, it's it's not about the flags on the streets in Poland, German, or, or UK, or in other countries. It's not about you know supporting in the wars. It's not about Verbal. helping uh, Ukrainians uh, who are refugees in their countries. Everything is good for that. We are very thankful for that. But uh, this kind of help, uh, it's only the part because because if. Uh, all the countries who help us really uh, want our victory still need to understand that we need enough weapon for the victory not enough weapon for i don't know uh, to stabilize the situation that's it we need enough weapon to liberate our territory that's our aim you can see now uh, in israel okay it's there, it's a small some, country if there, we, we're mm. talking about uh, territory it's a uh, it's a small country if we uh, can compare it with with ukraine so our battlefield is much bigger but uh, the answer uh, when uh, hamas is attacked israel was very fast and they're doing very fast it's not ideal of course of course we're talking about losing lives Okay, uh, again, mm, but also it's a, it's a reason why we do not liberate very fast, because um, we we really afraid to endure our own people, and Russians just use them like a wall, like a wall of protection for for for, for their army. Yes, and uh, some of uh, pro Kremlin supporters, advocates, are celebrating the Hamas attacks on Israel. You're aware of that? Yeah, yeah. And there are similarities, some of them are saying, between Israeli war and uh, Ukrainian-Russian war. Uh, surprise, surprise attack on foreign territory, war against the civilian population, taking civilian hostages, declared intention of destroying a state entirely. Those are the similarities. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But also similarities are on the images that we, that we saw. Uh, raped women, killed women, 
people with, people. Uh, people without head, innocent people, not, not, we're not talking about soldiers, it's innocent civilians, civilians. So they, they are exactly show, our, our, uh, show us the image of terrorists like Russia did, like Wagner company did, the same. And uh, today my colleagues saw uh, French news, France 24 channel, mm -hmm. and they showed Wagner soldiers that are on a rehabilitation, I don't know, some kind of hospital with uh, psychological rehabilitation. And he didn't understand, I also, we didn't understand why France show those terroristic organization on a world channel with English language all over the world and show uh, soldiers who are terrorists and, and, and talking about back in normal life on the territory of Russia. So we just don't understand. They are not what, on what their is about, side. What is about? I'm sure that they are not on their side. It's just a journalism. And journalism of mm -hmm. what? So we are talking about those, those then, people who killed uh, people during a long time, then Putin uh, uh, just uh, and Prigozhin just invited them to the Russian army to kill the Ukrainian people, and after that, France showing uh, on a television rehabilitation period for those killers. They are just terrorists and killers. So why uh, why they do not show Hamas terrorists or Al Qaeda terrorists like this? So they have rehabilitation period. Why do not show the same? Them. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, not sure also that yes. France 24 mm. supporting Wagner, but why they yes. show that? Mm. What 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 is main idea of that? We don't understand. So sometimes uh, those strange things uh, happen in uh, on the television and uh, during uh, the meetings with uh, some politician. So I I think um, not everybody understand uh, that really uh, what is happening in Ukraine. So just. We invite you to do it, to see it by, by yourself. Just come and see it by yourself, by your eyes. Uh, there is a war. Is, is there in Ukraine uh, peaceful cities? Yes. Do we have peaceful life? Yes, we have. Do we have uh, production factories? Yes, we have. Do the people go uh, to the work? Yes. Do the bars or shops working? Yes, people and uh, children are going to the school and kindergartens. Yes, we have peaceful life. And we have a long battlefield, a long battlefield, and every day bombing, every day shelling, shelling the Kharkov, shelling the border regions, and shelling the Kherson, Odessa, and a lot of things. So I don't think that Europe really understand that uh, war. Uh, it's it's not a, it's not a film. Now it's everyday life. I think that we are understanding very well. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you.